What's up, YouTube? Your boy DR2727. Shout out to my Transform Collectors, 112 Scale Collectors, whatever you collect. Shout out to you. And for this three things, we're doing something different. We're doing a double feature. We're doing two different three things on the same character. Then after the double three things double feature, we're going to have a quick, quick discussion about why I prefer MP scale figures over Legend scale figures. So you're going to see two separate videos. You're going to see two separate three things. Then we're going to come back and have a discussion after that. And this is another three things. And this is our first three things where we're doing a legend scale. And this is DX9 Vasily, um, their version of Double Dealer. Before we get started, shout out to, it's two reasons I'm doing this. One, I was a huge DX9 fan back when they were doing MP figures. So it's good to see them come back, even though I'm not fully, I don't fully understand how they came back in, you know, the situation or whatever with Magic Squirrel. But the second thing too is kind of, Influence reviewed this figure and he kind of got me interested. So I said I was going to pull the trigger and I'm glad I did because, you know, it's a pretty decent figure. And so let's get started. Um, three things as well. We say the three things we like and we don't like about the figure and we'll buy the figure again. So we always start with the things we like. And the first thing I like about the figure is the proportions. Like I love the small torso and the long legs. Like I think that's like really cool. You don't see that on bots too much. And I think it's really cool. It makes them more interesting to look at more different or whatever. The second thing I like about him is transformation from specifically from alt mode to the bird mode. I think that they did a really good job, you know, from those two modes. And I think that especially in the bird mode, I think they had ways to secure certain things that were really clever and slick and kind of everything had a place and every place had a thing. So I really commend them on that one. And the third thing I like about this figure is that it, it, it has like a fun factor to it. It's kind of hard to explain. I can't really explain it, but it has a fun, and that sounds like a cop-out, but it has a fun factor to it. And I've had Legends figures. I have Legends figures. And some of them are fun, some of them not so much so. But this is like a real fun one to me. I love putting them in poses, some dynamic poses, some really cool poses. I know this is a basic story pose right now, but take my word for it. I had a good time posing them or whatever. So those are the three things I had. I enjoyed the, I like the proportions the um alt mode to bird mode and kind of the fun factor with them now the things i don't like first and foremost i don't like that magic square plastic i think everybody you know says like i think they get a pass because they're legends and they're cheap or whatever but it feels cheap it does and maybe because i'm coming from mp world it just doesn't feel quality to me no matter the price so like i i, I actually loathe that gummy plastic it, it just ain't my cup of tea the second thing i don't like about it is that I think they kind of shortchanged themselves in a lot of ways and like with the paint, right? Like, you know, this figure doesn't have that much paint. And I understand it's a legend scale figure, but I think they should have did a better job, especially with this. This is very specific. Let me show you real quick. Like you see how this window here has paint. If I rotate it, there's no paint right there. And like that, again, that whole suspension of disbelief type thing, like that was kind of very frustrating to me. I just think that's, you know, that's being cheap and don't be cheap with yourself. I think that was a real cheap thing to do. So I don't like that. And then kind of the third thing I don't like, I really didn't like the transformation from bot mode to alt mode. I thought they did too much. It was over-engineered, over-complicated, especially when we have, especially when we're going to do another three things with the fans hobby version of it. I think that like the engineering was too much and I understand they're working in a smaller space and they make concessions, but I still think they could have did a better job of that. So ultimately, you know, those are the three things I don't like. Ultimately, would I recommend this figure? Um, sorry for the jump cut. So do I recommend this figure? Yes, I recommend this figure. I think it's a solid B minus figure. I think that, especially for legend skill, I think there's some things, like I said, they could have done better, but I think it overall hits on what it's trying to do. And I don't know if we'll, if you will see another double dealer. So thank you guys for checking this video out. Remember we're doing the two for one, a double feature. We're doing um, fans hobby double dealer next. So stay tuned to this video. And this is the second part of our double feature. And this is fans hobbies, double agent, their version of double dealer. And we already talked about the legend scale um, double dealer from DX9 to Versali, but wanted to do a double feature and kind of talk about this and lead to a, a quick discussion about why I'm an MP collector over a legend scale collector. And still the three things right here. So let's go on and get started. The three things I like about this guy, first and foremost, I love the sculpt. Like, I think he sculpted it really well, like kind of the broad shoulders, kind of the beefy look. I think it works for him. I really do like that. The second thing I like about him, and this always goes unnoticed 
unnoticed with Transformers, but like I want to give props props to the actual plastic they use. Like it's a very sturdy, durable, high quality plastic. So kudos to them. Like I, I think we know, we don't give companies enough credit for using great plastics. We only talk about them when they use bad plastics. But I want to give fans happy credit. They they use some great quality, high caliber plastics for this. And the third thing I like about this, actually love about this, is a butterfly. Like it. I'm one of them people, I've done a video years ago about how app crunches are overrated and butterfly joints are more usable than app crunches. And this thing has a full butterfly. Let me show you real quick. As you can see, I know I'm covering his face up, but with that butterfly, you can do some cool stuff or whatever. So kudos to them for incorporating the butterfly. Let me put him back real quick. That's a better um that's a better pose. So like that butterfly just kudos. And also I know I do three things, but I'm gonna go with bonus things for this. I think the engineering from getting from mode to mode is great. And the fact they gave you an alternate robot mode. They didn't have to do that and they did it. And I think it works really well. So kudos to Fan Hobby for this. So they just have a slew of great things for this figure. News flash. I love this figure. So, you know, the three things I talked about, it was the sculpt the plastic and the transformation, and it, just a lot of stuff. Just basically, it's a great figure. But they, it's not perfect, so there are some things I don't like. And the first thing I don't like about it is the lack of paint. And the paint accents are good. You can see the tampos on the ledge. You can see kind of the paint in the chest. The eyes are painted in a nice red. But, like, this thing, the difference between this being an MP, which it is, and being one of the top five figures in my collection is the fact it's missing that paint. If they would fully paint this thing, this would be my figure of the year. This would be in the top five, definitely top 10 figures in my collection. But I think they missed a huge opportunity of not painting that. And I don't know if it's for a price to kind of keep the price down, but I, I, I think they really missed the, the difference from being having a good figure to having a home run figure with that, or a great figure to having a home run figure. The second thing I don't like about it is Sorry for the jump cut, it just have coughing and stuff like that. But the second thing I don't like about it is I have a couple of fit and fit, fit and finish issues with mine. And a lot of it was related to kind of the missile. Like the missile doesn't look right the way he's holding it as a gun. Mine isn't stable when I sit it on top of here. So when I do this, it just falls off or whatever. So, you know, I, I just wish, I'm going to put it back on. I just wish they would have did a better job of that. Like I wish they would have did some of the things did a, a, a I wish they would have did better fit and fit fit and finish. Uh, sorry, I wish they would have did a better job of fit and finish with this guy because he's just so great that like you know they just need to button it all the way up and they didn't do that. And the third thing is lack of an app crunch. And I'm not a huge like I said earlier. I think app crunches are overrated. I think butterfly joints are more useful but when you get when you get a butterfly joint as great as this and articulation that's as good as this you might as well go on and finish it and give it an app crunch right like all the problems i'm talking about are kind of problems that take this thing from being a plus great to hall of fame all-time great type things and that's just i don't know if it's a price thing or they want to stay up under 150 type thing but i i kind of wish they would have pushed themselves a little bit more because i think they have a they definitely have a win on their hands but that leads to the conversation, just the mini conversation that I want to have about why I'm an MP collector. And as you see, I got both of these guys right next to each other. And there's nothing this does better than that, aside from two things. One, I like the proportions better of the longer legs and the shorter torso. I think that just makes them look cool, look different from all other robots. That's, a, that's subjective. But objectively speaking, the only thing this thing does to me better than the MP is the price. And you know that, of course, is the price. The MP is painted better, has pretty much better articulation, better paint, you know, sculpt is objective. I like to sculpt better on this. It does more and like, I want more in Transformer space. And you know, like, this is a good figure, don't get me wrong, but this is a great figure. And like, I feel like great MPs, I don't think, I think great, nothing can stand up to a great MP. 
I haven't seen it yet. A great MP can comp compete with a non-transforming figure. Now, this can't compete with a non-transforming figure just because of the lack of paint and sculpted details. But, like, you know, functionality-wise, what it does, how it cleans up, it's up there. It's, it's pretty, it pretty much can stand on its own. But, like, especially compared to this, I think that this is a good figure. I think that this is a great figure. I think that, and I think that I'm more happy spending 150 on this than I was 30 or 28 on this. I think that my money was better served on this one than it was on that one. So I say this, I think it's like the eighth grade team going against the varsity team. Of course, they're going to get blowed out. And I think that this, this blows this out of the water and everything except for price or whatever, which is understandable or whatever. So, you know, that's why I'm an MP collector. I would love to hear from you guys about what legend figures you think could challenge their MP counterparts because I can't think of too many. And that's a video I'm going to do next year. I know I have that on the docket for 2024. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment 